So we're making Marek, or Marek Gal. Marek Gal is a, a Gal is a white in Gaelic, and Marek is pudding. So we're making a white pudding. Okay, a white pudding is suet, onion, and oatmeal, salt and pepper, mixed together, and stuffed into what is a cow's intestine. Cleaned up, of course. And uh, you stuff it into this, stuff as much filling as possible in, into your casing, as we call it, to be polite. And after it is totally stuffed, you will sew it up with a piece of string and a darning needle with a blanket stitch to make it pretty and pop it in that pot and cook it for three hours. Not boiling, never boil it, uh, as the intestines are a little weak these days and they won't take a boil, so you have to simmer it. Uh, simmer it for three hours, uh, poking it with a larger needle to let the uh, fat escape, because the suet is melting in the pot in that hot water and cooking the onions. So every now and again you have to give it a poke to let the fat out or it'll explode on you. Um, so after your three hours you see it starting to get a little prickly looking. And that's when you take it out, you know you're done. And pop it on the table. Now this was always eaten in uh, through the centuries. This is an old dish from Scotland. I should give you the background on the Marek. Is it was done at butchering time because we were always in the position where we had to sell the meat to make money to either pay the rent or to buy more oatmeal which would last a lot longer than the meat. So there was not much left of your food. You had to um, use just the bits that were left. So the bits is the suet and of course the casings, the head perhaps, and that was what our food would be made of. Now that gets barely stuffed and what I have to do is get this um, fairly uniform I guess. You don't want it... What's inside of it? Uh, uh, suet, onion and oatmeal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and salt and pepper. And that's it. Now I'm trying to kind of even out the stuffing. And up top here I have a little bit of space, which you want. And then I'm going to sew this up with my string, darning needle, and my best blanket stitch. Right. So this was sort of a feast. A food for a feast, almost. I mean, butchering time was important. That was uh, when you're going to have enough money to either buy the oatmeal, but you know you would see you through the year if if uh, if your year was good and you had a few animals to kill. So this uh, particular food is put on the table uh, with on a platter. You just break into it and scoop it out with big scoops, served with potatoes and turnips. It's a filling food because of the suet that's in it. It's kind of a rib sticker, so uh, it's uh, very good for cold weather. Of course, this is always done in November when the butchering is done. Now, you just the next day, this uh, mattock would be uh, cooled down a bit, and you'll have it toasted in the pan. This is a food you just eat until it's gone. There's, it's not for saving food at all. You just eat it until it's gone. So in the pan the next day for breakfast, it's lovely with eggs. You slice up a few slices of it and uh, cook it with some eggs. And then at lunchtime, you can have it with some potatoes, fried potatoes. And at supper time, <laughs> you can still have it. Okay. I, should, I hope that this is uh, strong enough. Usually I run it by twice. Mm -hmm. And here we 
we go. Let's tidy this up and pop it in the pot. What is the suet made out of? Suet is the uh, fat that's uh, around your kidneys, your organs. Mm -hmm. It's a dense, white, pure white fat. It doesn't have that sinew and ligament type thing in it. You know, it's dense. And so it's easily uh, ground up or sliced, and what you know, cubed. Do you, do you get it from all the animals or just certain uh, Yeah, well, it would be beef. We only, we were cattle keepers. We were replaced by sheep. Uh -huh. So for the most part, we were always using the beef mm -hmm. parts. Uh, the, I suppose it's possible to get the fat from the sheep as well. I, ca I don't know if it's called yes. some. Yes, that's, uh, you know, there's that dish called Scrapple. Yes. Uh, very similar to this and almost in taste too. Yeah. But they're made out of pork bits. But this is all the cattle bits because as cattle keepers, mm -hmm. uh, this was the animals that, that we dealt with. And so it's our traditional dish. Now that's our mattock in the pot there. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. 